Yes guys, we're on a beach back again with another vlog and today I'm going to install this intake cam shaft along with the cam gear in the RS6 and this is from a 2012 SI Civic um, they have the code written R40 and R44 let me rest this so before you know I have to remove the cap the valve cover the, the coil box disconnect the plugs then I'm going to find top dead center and I'm going to try to remove the, the cam that's in it now without touching the tensioner that's down there see how, how that part work out if it doesn't work that way I can just I always use loosen the tensioner and install this and catch back the time. So let's get started. A little side note. You see in order for this cam to work, you have to use it along with the cam gear. Because the cam itself is a little shorter than the cam that comes in these or the A3 or the K24. It's a little bit shorter this the cam itself so with the gear now it will compensate for the length so it match up with the chain doesn't and you, you don't have any issue so just a side note for you to be in mind if you're going to try this method make sure you get the cam gear along with this so the cam gear would label this R40 or R44 and another thing even though this is from a k24 this is the only 50 degrees cam gear that's that that comes out of a k24 this one r the r44 i checked it okay so as you can see it's a 50 degree cam gear i just pull it apart just to test uh, just to check it and see that it's 50 degrees I'm going to put an image to a 25 degree so you can see the difference yes just to confirm here is cap so there it is 50 degrees with that video now you'll see that it's a 50 degree cam gear so yeah, let's get into it. Okay now so I have removed the valve cover and I'm going to remove these caps cam caps as band before I do that though I'm going to zero out the cam and make sure it's at top dead center TDC then after that now I'm going to use make sure these line up also then I'm going to get a mark and mark make the markings on them where they line up then after I remove after I mark this now which is the intake both, uh, both of them then I'm going to remove move this then I'm going to put back the one that I took out put, replace this one with the other one and try not to make the markings move or try to catch it back with the markings um, with, with, with the markings so now um, before I'm just going to catch, 
find that top dead center then i'm going to remove the caps okay so now i'm going to um find top dead center using this screwdriver and this 19 millimeter socket with ratchet so i took the number one plugs out plug out from here place that there i'm going to rotate it until yeah, until that arrow and that marking along with another mark supposed to in line with each other that marking all right so two machine just are rolling yeah 250 white one currently work in progress okay don't know if you're seeing it but right now right the car it's a top dead center if you notice the cam gear marking line up this piston is on top so now i'm going to just remove the caps and seeing that i have two of my friend here right now seeing that i have them these two one machine one park up front i'm going to see if i can um ease this up and try to ask one of them to hold the chain for me while i take this out then i try to slide in the new one I'm going to lubricate it first though before uh put it back in put it in this So I'm going to remove the cam now, the intake cam. And before I saw this, I was going to use a marker and make some markings beside these dots. But for some reason, this this happened. So what I'm going to do now, when I remove this cam and installing the other one now, I'm just going to make sure this the dot, the dot, and the the dot which is that that above the arrow lines up with this dark here around the chain then i'm going to rotate it one more time full revolution to make sure it's the timing is on par
Okay guys, so we finished installing the intake cam and we did a rotation to verify the, the timing and as you can see both the markings line up on the intake and exhaust and also you see the, the screwdriver when we get the, the set the, the crankshaft on TDC top dead center. So now I'm just going to I'm going to tap down these caps to the OEM specs and install back the valve cover. So now I'm just going to set back everything and then start the car and then see how it goes from there. So that's it for the, the cam installation. So now we're going to start and see. Um, yes, that's it for the cam installation, the SI 2012 SI intake cam. I think it gives you a little bit more power than the 2006-08 TSX cam. But with this, as I said before, um, before installation, you have to install it along with the, the cam gear for it to work. If you plan on using a, um, a K2 cam or type of cam gear, it can bolt up, but it won't line up. The, uh, the, um, it would give you a different offset. Yes, it will give you a different offset. So the chain won't line up. So my suggestion or the only suggestion is to use a cam gear along with it. The, the, the cam gear that came with it if by so by means you purchase the cam without a cam gear you have to get the cam gear for it to work but for now though i'm just going to um i'm driving on it right now i haven't dynoed as yet but my car is limited to 4000 rpm so that's more than safe to drive um reason for not dying knowing it as yet is um i have a couple other stuff i want to do um as it really to upgrades before and you're going to see them in future vlogs so um yes um right now we have we have come to the end of this vlog so i always said subscribe like dislike 
subscribe again and tell your friends about the channel yes because that will help so much and as before i said persons who have subscribed i really appreciate it so um see you again in other vlogs to come yeah